Baby mermaid turned five years old and looks like this. A Peruvian girl known as the mermaid baby is in urgent need of a kidney transplant. Milagro Ceron Arauco, born on April 27, 2004 in Huancayo, Peru. Although Milagros has a heart and lung organ in perfect condition, he has problems with a defective left kidney. The small right hand is so low on his body that the urethra and genitals are in one tomb. In June 2005, doctors successfully performed the first operation by separating the lower legs above his knee. September 2016, a second operation performed to separate the remaining encoding tissue from knee to groin. Surgeon Luis Rubio, the doctor who held the second operation, said, No problems, no more complications from the surgery. Milagros has developed his ability to stand on his own without help by taking small steps. In 2012, this seven-year-old kid has performed a kidney transplant, part of an operation to reconstruct his urinary tract. Milagros is the only one of mermaid syndrome still alive today with the supervision of doctors. Seven-year-old Milagros Ceron, whose first name means miracles, survived Ceronomalia, sometimes called mermaid syndrome, a rare, usually lethal congenital malformation. Infants with this condition are born with fused legs. The first operation of three to separate Milagros's legs began in 2005 when she was nine months old. Surgeons, plastic surgeons, pediatricians, and cardiologists participated in the surgeries. Her father, Ricardo Ceron, is once again asking for help for his daughter, who has been undergoing dialysis three times a day for the last three years. His hope is that she can have the operation in the U.S. Another Miracle most parents proudly declare that their baby girls are like little mermaids when they first start to swim. But when Tiffany Yorks was born, she was almost literally a mermaid. Her legs were fused together and her feet stuck out like fins. Her lower limbs were a virtual copy of a mermaid's fishy tail. It may sound quaint and charming, but for sufferers of this rare condition, it has always meant dreadful suffering and an early death, until Tiffany came along. Now 16 with long tan legs, she is a walking monument to the doctor's skill the only person in history to have survived one of the most complex medical procedures known to man. There have only been 300 cases of babies born alive with mermaid syndrome, also known as serenomelia. The other 299 have died within days due to heart defects and complications with bladders and kidneys. Tiffany has confounded all the odds, and in what seems her ultimate triumph, she has indeed turned out to be a little mermaid, never happier than when she's swimming. I just love being in the water, she says. When I'm swimming, I look down at my legs and it seems amazing that the surgeon has given me this chance to live a normal life. To say she's lucky to be alive is to massively understate what happened to her. When she was born at the Old Riverside Hospital near her parents' home in Florida, doctors told her mother there was little to no chance of survival. Her legs and feet were joined together in the classic mermaid syndrome manner and she had no bladder. We were able to keep Tiffany alive mainly because her condition had been diagnosed while she was in the womb, so we were able to give her oxygen as soon as she was delivered. But keeping her alive in those crucial early hours was only the start of it. Surgeons then began a series of groundbreaking operations to separate her lower legs. Tiffany had no fewer than five operations in her first 12 months of life. This is all new territory for us, says Dr. Habal. It was extremely complicated surgery. Nothing like it had been attempted before, but we successfully managed to create two separate legs for Tiffany. After her operations, she astonished doctors by learning to walk at the age of three. Jane Cliven, who took over Tiffany's care when Tiffany's mother was seriously injured in a car crash, recalls that magical moment. It was a wonderful moment, we just couldn't believe it. My husband and I were eating breakfast when Tiffany suddenly walked over to her playpen. I couldn't stop crying. It seemed like a miracle to see her walk. She was finally standing on the legs the surgeons created for her, finally able to do normal things like other children. When I took her to the hospital clinic, the doctors were just as surprised as we were. If there was any justice after all she had been through, the following years of Tiffany's life would have been smooth, uneventful, and happy. Unfortunately, it wasn't to be. Her mother had been badly hurt in the car crash when Tiffany was just 14 months old, losing the use of both her legs and suffering brain damage. Luckily, Jane was on hand to take over the role of her mom. Then, at the age of nine, Tiffany tripped over a dog lead, breaking her reconstructed left knee and ankle. Even now, she has to use crutches to help her walk, but is due for another operation soon. Apart from her leg surgery, Tiffany has also had several heart operations to correct the function of her main arteries and allow the blood to freely flow around her body. But she refuses to be daunted and actually says she's looking forward to her next operation. I've gone through so many, but it's been worth it, she says. When I see pictures showing what I look like when I was born, it seems like a miracle. In the end, it is all down to Tiffany, her determination, and her spirit.